going on y'all it's hellfire with machine masters.com i got another quick one for y'all today another short brief one um i just wanted to quickly discuss why i feel that the uh, mpc 1.8 software has the best non-destructive chopping and i'm gonna just cut straight to the chase um i feel that way for the simple fact that when you chop a sample up non-destructively you still have the ability to uh, put individual plugins on each individual slice or each individual pad. And uh, let me just demonstrate that for you right quick. So let me just go into uh, sample edit here. Here I got a, a Euro Drew song. All right, so let me just chop this up. Uh, let's put this on. Let's just say we did 128 chops, right? So I'm going to make a new uh, non-destructive program out of it. All right, so let's go back to main mode. Let me assign my new program. You can see I got all my slices. All right, so check it. So if I go into the program mixer, uh, let me show all my pads. Check that out, right? Now you see each slice, I can put up to four inserts on there. Any insert I want. I can put a glue on here. I can put, you know what I'm saying? Uh, we can do a fab filter, whatever on here. You know, and I can do this for all 128 pads. And you can see that if I go back to main mode, I still only have one sample. And I can also go back into sample edit mode and I can still edit my slices. And they're going to relay back to my program. Now, um, prior to the MPC Renaissance coming out, I was a, a machine user. I used machine exclusively for a year and um you know i used nothing else I, I liked it i made some of my best beats in machine but this was one thing that that absolutely um you know just killed the the vibe for me in machine um you know a lot of times when i was chopping up samples you just simply can't do this in machine um machine works pretty much exactly the same as mpc as far as how inserts work like uh you get four inserts per pad um, you know, and you know, obviously the Renaissance is the same exact way, but the difference is that on the MPC, um, your slices, your, your non-destructive slices, uh, get assigned to the individual pads and in machine, um, your non-destructive chops all go on the same pad. So you put a sample on the pad, you put chops on that sample and everything is contained within that one pad. Um, and with the MPC, you put chops on the sample, um, your chops are spread out across all eight banks. Now with machine, obviously another thing you can do is you can make a non-destructive copy of that sample and trim them up, um, you know, different ways. And then you can have different inserts on your chops that way. But if you do that, you're, you're limited to only 16, um, slices because, you know, you only get 16 pads in your group. So, you know, once you make more than, uh, once you make 16 slices, you gotta create a new group just to, you know, get more slices to add individual inserts. Even with the MPC, if you do non-destructive pad copy, you still get up to 128 um, um, individual slices that you can put, um, you know, individual inserts on. Uh, you know as much as your computer can handle so you know i just wanted to point that out uh i know a, a lot of people were saying that's one thing that bugged them about machine um but with the renaissance um you know that's not an issue so um i hope to, you guys that get this uh update uh really take advantage of that because you know it's it's for me it's it's a game changer is you know is pretty much the best non-destructive chopping on the market i feel for, as far as a drum machine is concerned you know even when i was using reason you couldn't even do that you know you put a dr rex 
all your your slices are contained within that Dr. Rex and you can still only put effects on everything at once. But with the Renaissance and 1.8, you can put, you know, your individual inserts on every slice or any slice you want. And uh, you can just rock out like that. So, you know, enjoy the update when it drops February 2015. Peace.